Hello everyone, it is evil again, right after my previous video with the Lux that you saw yesterday, if I managed to set the upload schedule correctly. Now I unlocked the Chemtech Duplicator, or I didn't unlock it, but I'm able to put it on the Lux. So when I play a spell with the Lux on a board, I just copy it. That means I'm going to get double, um, uh, was it, was it Demacia, for Demacia, or what was that ability again? So when you play a 6 plus mana of spells, create a zero cost golden aegis in hand. So the golden aegis, I'm going to get a second one, I think. Or if not that, I'm going to get the 4 Demacia plus 3 plus 3 for everything and, you know, it's going to be double that with the Lux on board, which is game over immediately. So, yeah, thank you for that, Raito. I think I'm going to take on the Ezreal. Um, I remember Ezreal kinda beat up my ass the previous time in this campaign, but if I'm coming into the battle with a fucking uh, deck like that, I think it's just straight up game over. They have absolutely no shot against me. So anyway, let's get into it. Allies have overwhelm, when an ally survives damage, can I be plus one plus one or hallowed? I think I'm re-rolling. Rounds that's ready. Yep. I don't hate the idea of being attack ev able to attack every turn. Especially with the amount of spells that I have uh, that give me sudden bonuses for my characters. You know, that gives me more chances to win the game there. And I'll give the remembrance. Maybe it is now newly buffed up, so it's even stronger than it used to be. And to recap, what is this supposed to be? It's definitely not Demacian. And I'm fighting a building again, man. I'm just the fucking hater of buildings. So, yeah. I have a... When I play 6 plus mana of spells, I get a golden ages in hand. Wait, it's 0 out of 6. I get it 6 times, I guess? I mean, I don't think I'm ever going to need more than that. Yeah. Wait. I can play the successor on turn two. Take a look at this. Remember, we're the ones who make progress happen. Please block. Hey, this one is. Oh my god, I can double succession. Yeah, I'm just going to block to avoid damage. I can double succession, man. Because I refill my spell mana. Actually, I shouldn't double succession, should I? Oh, god damn it, pussy move. Okay, I'm going to double succession, I think. Yeah, why not? Yeah, that gives me the golden ages. Oh, come on, pussy move. But okay, they wasted it on my minion that I got for free, basically. This is what it is. And now they are almost out of mana. Or out of spells, I mean. Out of, out of, <laughs> out of anything, really. Okay. I'll summon the Lawrence Protect C. And I'm able to attack that guy immediately with it. I don't need to play the Golden Eaches at all. Necessary right now. And round. Yeah, the Lux deck is pretty hard to play, but it's so broken. Ah, yeah, come on. Alright, I'm ending the aim right now. I'm summoning the three spider links, those are going to be buffed. You know, the. Uh, they are going to do uh, like six, eight. I don't know how much, but I've got double, uh, double golden easies here. So just to make it more satisfying, I'll just wait, waste this um, rally for the barrier, so I can wipe them out even harder. Yep. And then a second one. And it is over. I just spammed you with 
sudden uh, 18, uh, no, how much? A 24 damage. Theoretically, I could have gotten an extra 24 damage from hand in this turn. That is a little bit strong, I would say. I argue that way. Yeah. And then I get to find something. Revive all allies that died this round and then rally. I mean, the Tasty Fate Folk is pretty fun too. But the Acrono Break, I mean, I'm always going to have spell mana for it, right? It's insane. And then give me a good chance, please. Oh, that's pretty nice. I get a random spell as well, which my deck likes. Concussive Palm, it's pretty nice. You know, this is always going to proc the flow. Should I even look at the other ones? Play, create four time bombs in your deck, then predict. Yeah, I don't like the Zirian. Yeah, those seem very average compared to the Karma, who is going to completely uh, destroy the enemy if I play it and get it rolling. And... Uh, yeah, okay, it's the Stargazer next. The biggest thing I just need to be worried about is the Ezreal like ruining my day somehow. But I don't see how that is going to happen with this deck. I feel like it's so strong. Maybe I just made mistakes when I was playing it before. I'll... Uh, Mulligan this... No, I want to keep that. Yeah, I'll do this. Yeah, so if I get to the 6 plus mana gems, it's game over. And... The spirit gives to yes. those who listen. This also gives me one spell mana, which is nice. Anywhere. Not all Do you want to block? No, this nice. Oh, so now that I have a rally, so I can play the Laurent Protege and uh, suddenly attack that one. Why would you attack? Wait. Yeah, it's not good to attack, buddy. Yeah, you cannot use this in battle. That's him. That's not gonna do anything. Next, I can use the Bright Steel Protector. Or the... Mm. You know what would be the best thing to randomly find? If I found the item that ref refunds my mana cost on the Lux, I mean, this would be, uh, be the most broken thing ever. Okay. Um... I'll play this one. I assume I'm going to find something on the enemy. Oh, they don't want to play anything. Alright, maybe they just don't have anything. I mean, I cleared their entire board. Oh, they do have something. Okay. Another thing. They just were afraid. That makes sense. Well, I'm ending the game now. I've got many mana for remembrance. And I'm also going to heal back to full as well. No, that. I saw you. I did not know you. Remembrance for the golden eaters. Then I can. Uh, who should I buff? Even. These gems grant a wearer's harmony. Oh, you wanted to really get rid of this. Oh, nice! I got a random spirit for everything, so plus one plus one as well. Nice. And I actually don't mind trading into that at all because. Uh, it's actually pretty decent for me. Hmm, now what should I do? You call this a fight? We will not be stopped. I don't want to lose this because it's got the grant my supported ally something. Mm. 
I'll do this. You spurn my gift. And I cleared the entire board. Be brave. We each hold a world within. Oh, I can uh, put off this again. Yeah, I'm doing that. Oh, it's going to summon them next turn, okay. Next turn I get the dragon rings now. It's worth it, I heal back to full. Yeah, this is so insane because I've got the attack token every single turn. Everywhere I go, the light follows. I will open a path to the heavens. When you heal a damaged ally, give it a lose if this around. Don't hurt them. I'll just spam these spells, man. Oh! The double of rock! I don't know how it works, actually. I don't know. Game over. Oh, I get the. Oh my god, the Lux gets the double proc from this too. Lux, Lux gets the ability twice. <laughs> Wait. That is so insane. I cooked up another completely broken combo. Bro, I'm just telling you, I'm a fucking natural genius or something. You've never seen Albert Einstein and me in the same room, that is for sure. I'm telling you. <laughs> Strike to draw one. I mean, the Mage Seekers, I mean, they give me a plus 6 plus cost spell that is so broken, man. And uh, I don't need a healer, I'm fucking full health still. So, instead, I could get a Remembrance. Mmm... The Eye of the Dragon isn't that bad either, but it's a supportive piece. This is this remembrance is a like game winning piece. Each unit with two or less power has a 50% chance of being stunned or elusive. I'll go to the messenger. The messenger is just a 2-2 that draws a card. I don't know what a star bone is. But I can guarantee you, they are not going to have 3 plus the messengers in their board with me as their opponent. It is game over. The second you see me, it is over. Oh, and I can play the concussive palm and the successor on turn 2. Yeah, turn 1. Oh no. I guess you came here to park out my light, is that right, but Woof woof. Okay. Eye of the dragon and then succession and concussive palm next turn, and then I get the dragon ring and Raise your weapons. Nah, no, it's kinda lame though. Should I summon this just to get the barrier? Yeah, I'll get that. It's a decent decent matchup. I don't want to take three damage randomly. Even though that kind of completely, kind of ruins it, not completely. It kind of ruins my completely broken combo. No, I can live with it. It refills the spell mana, okay. No, I'm playing. I'm playing this still. Daylight fades and dusk soothes. Now I'm online though. Now I'm online. I've got two spells to play. Oh, but Lux? Sun this, moon that, adults are boring. 
And hold that one then. Meet them head on. Yeah, I think it's over now. I mean, I can play the Dauntless Vanguard for free as well. Let's just throw that in. Why not? I mean, I get it for free, so why not keep it? <laughs> not too bad. Now, now I put the Lux in. And uh, let's see. Actually, I made a mistake. I think I shouldn't have. Oh, I can rally with this. We should too. We chart our path by the stars. Glory unrelenting. Whatever dies here is okay because I can resurrect them and then rally again. Run and break. Oh, uh, golden eats is not too bad. Alright, I'll do that. Do I dust the lux? No, it doesn't block. Okay. Not all mean well. Protect your shield me. Maybe I should have given actually the immunity to that instead. Oops. Oh well. By the way, I can play the For the Masia and the Lawrence Protege. I can play both. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> the Lux double proxy. The Lux double proxy on the both. <laughs> okay, look. The Lux is going to double proc the For the Masia. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty decent. Yeah. I don't hate it that much. And then I could... I mean... How much damage is it? 42? I can get... Uh, minus 84, minus 126. 126 damage. And then this is going to be double casted as well. So, 138 damage. By the way, not stray. One hundred thirty-eight on a turn. Is this turn four or turn five? Did we win? I'm not sure if it's one, but you know that is a little bit disgusting. A little tiny bit, tiny bit, tiny bit disgusting, bro. Lux. No one told me he sees this OP. I mean, the augment makes this a 5 attack, quick attack, quick attack, but... But the Conchologist is going to give me this for free. Yeah, that's a good card. And... Uh, I'll go to the spell chest. I really want to see some spells here. Oh, draw a champion. What was my other champion again? I forgot. Oh, Karma. Karma is going to refill my fucking thing again. And uh, my mana crystals as well. Both of them are insane. Demacian spellstones, I can use it to proc. I just need to play 6 plus cost of spells. It doesn't need to be a 6 plus cost spell. So this is one mana. And either of these is enough to proc it. Um, but I probably just want to take it for Demacia like every single time. Uh, well, I don't think it's the best. Three, uh, deal 3 to destroy a landmark and then I summon a 3. 3 cost Demacia follower. Grand variant to an ally in hand. Draw 1. And your strongest ally, a random red item this game. I mean... I mean... I think this Aftershock is really high tempo with deal a 3 and get a random ally. And then let's... Oh, I can only cut one of these three. 
I don't have that or not. I don't get it. Why is everyone so interested in my light? Can why can't I just be? Build the ones think you're an energy source and the Targonians think you're a celestial da. One wants to use you for to power their machines, one wants to forship you. Ah, okay. What about you? Me, I'm just here to mess with you. Okay, I already read that before because I've tried this enemy before. I think two different times actually, and the Ezreal just beat my ass. Like he completely fisted me. But um I think now it's not going to happen. Yeah, more than that. Also remember that the mate seeker con conservator is going to whenever he attacks he's going to draw a card as well. You know, I don't I don't feel like it's that broken anymore, this enemy. <laughs> like somehow I am not impressed with the enemy at all. I don't think it's that scary anymore. You just wasted two mana just to stun an enemy. Stunning at 2-1. You're so afraid of me drawing one card. You're so afraid. Scared. Okay. I mean, I could get the concussive palm. And then... Uh, Get the model of the dragon there, right? And then play the chrono break after I attack and they defeat some of my cards. Yeah. I'm going to specifically stand the Zoe. That might sound like it doesn't make sense, but I think it does. Besides, I want to get my three spell mana. They got a random celestial thing. Looking into the future, I see purple. Yeah, it might look really good for them to attack with the messenger, but no wait, but I can spend this next turn when they attack. I'm going to keep my three a uh, three spell tokens there. I can put the Eye of the Dragon, Mate Seeker, Persuader, and go insane. Or I could also play Remembrance. Or I could play Chrono Break and Remembrance at the same time. Bro, I'm actually like overflowing with the options. I don't know what to do. I have too many strong options. Okay, I'm definitely playing the Chrono Break. And uh, that means well, I can block this with this. Block well, this with this, people. and this doesn't even die there. The SOE is thinking, ha, this guy's a loser. I'm winning this easy. And then I'm gonna fucking uh, rally them and everything. Wait, remembrance is actually. Did I play a card yet? I haven't played a spell yet. I haven't played a spell yet. Come here. Serve like that. That gives me the golden Aegis. Wait, I can double a rally. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'll attack this with this and this with this. No, I should I do it this way. Yeah. Now I attack them, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, you know, oh no, I lost some of my cards here. What will I do now? And then I revive all of them. Boom. <laughs> okay, and then I rally with that, you know? Boom. I actually win this turn. Turn 4 win. The Zoe deck, I mean the Rax deck. I don't know what they did to this. I swear it wasn't this broken before. What the hell? Okay, now I get all of my cards back, right? And then I barrier this and I attack again. And I just won on turn 3 against the Zoe. 
which I feel is pretty strong in the early game. I crushed it! Completely obliterated! And I didn't even draw the Lux! I didn't even draw the main fucking point of this deck! Imagine! My god! By the way, I'm not religious, I need to not say that. Maybe. I don't know, maybe some people are trying to be offended by it. That's kinda random to say, I don't know. Alright. Wait, the karma if I draw it for free. No, but if I draw the Lux for free, I win the game, right? Yeah, if I draw the Lux in the kind of earlier game, it's literally game over. Wait. I've seen you. Does seeing require the Lux to be on the board or not? I mean, the karma is disgusting, though. Like, the karma is a 5 mana and refill your mana to full, you know? So if I get to 5 mana, I get the karma for free. Oh, but I'll take the Lux, man. L draw the Lux, add it to my hand every turn. Guaranteed game, turn 6 win. Mm, allies that cost 3 or less have a, are a lurkers and have a lurk. Lurk would be pretty nice. Um, Dragon's Race would be pretty nice. I can't choose, it's too good. Everything is too good. Uh, I mean, the furry would be insane snowballing, and I've got pretty strong cards here that are going to benefit a lot from the furry. But maybe I'm going to reroll. Wait, str stun the strongest enemy. Oh my god. Yeah, okay, I'm taking that. Gold chest, item chest. I'm going to the item. Yeah. I'm taking that. Now give me something good here. Something too easy. Oh yes, manifesting a spell. That costs 3 or less from my region. That's perfect. Remembrance is immediate game over. Oh, uh, Bright Seal Protector, I can imagine. It's not that strong. Okay. Oh. Wait. The, the enemy setting my spells to cost zero is so OP for me, not for them. My journey begins here and ends at the top. They might think that it's good for them, but no, it's not. Hmm, I can uh, draw one follower that I want here. Discard one, deal two to I on it and do to the enemy nexus. If one of your traps or boons activated this round, uh, deal three instead. I can draw a follower. Also, fortunately, it does have barrier randomly, so... Alright, let's see, what do I draw here? The Bright Steel Protector drawing that will be nice. I'll take it. You know, because it was literally free. The first one I use... I get the spell mana back, you know, the first spell I play. And uh, I think I'll pass my turn here. Yep. Now the concussive palm will literally be free. Yeah, I can stun that enemy and uh, get it for free. I'm pretty sure I am also at 6 plus mana right now. No, I've used 5 mana spells so far, I don't get that yet. It's alright, that gave me 3 spell mana basically, for free. Ooh, nice, you played that. Perfect, I can attack with this. Alright. Come in. 
And they are getting a random celestial and that's completely okay with me. That's a pretty strong play by them. I'll go a bit wide here. Yeah, you get barrier, so you can block this. No, wait, if I block it like this, yeah, I take less damage. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. Now. The only issue is that I haven't had the mana to play my uh, spells yet. Control the mages. Keep the peace. Nothing is well, attack with this. Notice. No, I should attack with more so that I get my remembrance. To the world below. My steel is yours. I'll attack with those. They are going to kill all three of them. Yeah. And then I'm going to get a remembrance. Because it's going to be discounted to three here. Have I played a spell yet? Yeah, I presume so, yeah. Get a free five cost there. I uh, rally as well. Sorry, that was a bit loud. I hope you weren't bothered by it too much. Yeah, and now I play the succession. And then I play the golden Aegis. What do I even get a barrier? I'll give you a barrier. From it. And this is once again turn 3, by the way. Just so you keep that in mind. I can't lose heart. Only one I don't want to attack with is this. This gets challenger, it gets to attack this. Stay in the path. Yes. Oh, I should have attacked with it. No, actually, it's not possible to proc this yet last turn. It is what it is. It's not possible. Let the light guide I'm pla you. definitely playing that. Mm. I don't have space on my board even. Eliminate the enemy. Attack with those, attack with this. Yeah. Fucking bard is overwhelming. <laughs> In no way. Revolution by our hands. That doesn't do anything. Mm. Who does not know do the that. name Laurent? Scary. I can play this for zero actually. Yeah, it's now free. Okay, that would be a game over, right? Definitely. I mean, I can play it for free again. That. Oh, I get double procs of it. Allies everywhere plus 2 plus 2, that's not too bad to proc twice. Unfortunately, I only summon one because I'm overblowing. Nice, this blocks this successfully. Mm, now, if only I had enough mana. This 
this is going to reach you. Oh yes, and now I get the Lux level up, so I get the double. Oh yes, that's right, the Aftershock is going to summon two units as well. <laughs> that is right, that is right, I forgot. And they are desperately trying to survive here. Because I'm just that OP. But it's already over. Yeah, after the second one that procs is actually going to go straight face. So the first one just procs there and the second one is going there. It is time. Run them through. Then I'm able to attack with this. And I mean they don't have a blocker because they are stunned. And I just completely butchered this enemy. Completely overwhelmed the board. Like, I'm even thinking about what even should I do because my all of my options are so good. When you're thinking, what should I do because my options are so good, that's when you know you're with OP. And this is a draw three. Not too bad. I want as many successions as possible, they are literally just free. Blunder, I got three less. Oof. That's a game winner. Turn six. Ah, that's the only one I will buy. And, yes, sir, the Astute as Academic. Whatever. I'm out of water, what will I do? I feel only lonely. Okay, I think I just got an insane hand again. Oh yes, it's an insane hand. Affirmative. You're her, you're the light bearer, I must know everything about you. I don't, I was looking online and people were saying that the Lux deck is slow and that is the biggest fucking cope I've ever heard. Like this is the opposite of slow, this is literally turn 3 overwhelmed the board with 10 tens level of OP. And they played 6 man, okay. Yeah. <laughs> they play as something that costs 6 mana on turn, turn 1 and I'm actually thinking you know what? That's kind of similar to what I'm going to do to them. It's kind of comparable. There's a right tool for everything. Because first up I'm going to play this 3-3. Three, three. Commit. I don't just make them. And I can block that. And then I will kill it. Immediately. And I already get one golden easy in hand. That I could play right now if I wanted to. We will not hesitate. But I'm not going to do that right now. Now I start with four mana. I'll play this for a random spell. Mm, this would be free. I can also manifest a Fey, I guess. I'll take this arrow. Those are really bad options though. I mean the bonus of it is that it is free. I call an ally to give an enemy vulnerable. Yep. Deep breath now. Oh, let's see. Yes, yeah, sir. Now, next I could play, oh yes, round 5, it's game over. Mm, 
Yeah, sure. They are going to deal some damage to me, I guess. They want to do that. No, they are greeting. All right. Where there is life, there is hope. Charged up and ready to go. And then I summon the Lux for free as well. Let the light guide you. Never back down from what you believe. Yeah, I'm going to accept the damage. It's all right. I could use this right now. Should I save it for next turn though? I'm not going to do that. I also use this to give the Lux Challenger as well. Do not question our resolve. Now, what should I do? Oh, I can double cast this. I've been hiding my life Night game too over. Long. I get the double final spark as well. Yeah, sir, I'm literally milling my cards, but whatever. Wait, what the hell? I do I milled so many. That's <laughs> disgusting, but you know, this is why I played it. Commit. <laughs> you know my opponent is also, you know, trying to do their best to draw things and stuff, but oh man. They're being annoying. I'm gonna miss out on some cards. By the light. But it happens. Yeah, that also is going to summon two minions. Now I've got three golden eatses in hand. No way, it doesn't summon what do minions. Do? Whatever. What don't I do? Now this is going to double proc. No more back. I think you're having a lot of fun, aren't you? I think I'm actually ending this game, yeah. Bright. I can overkill you by so much. If only I could play this. Oh well. Second. Third. I need to close my window a bit because it was uh, shining through a bit too much. Now it's not going to bother me. I feel like I was probably looking like a zebra there. Alright. Ah, the consolat is getting that is pretty. Cough time America! That's not too bad. But the consolat is trying to that. Not too bad either. And now, Israel, are you ready to face the strongest Lux you've ever seen? Said, huh? Yeah, sometimes I get away. Huh? Everyone wants my magic. If I go home, my aunt will. They're ready to take your mystical gauntlet away. I'll be there. I've been there. Are you a mage too? No, I just like to borrow things that are mine. Sometimes I'm. I don't feel like reading the um, dialogue. I already read that before. It's so whatever. I want to clear this right now. Alright, what should I take here? Console assist, 
into the bright steel protector is pretty nice. I think I'll just replace this. Oh, he's going to... Yeah, his first spells cost one, he gets a fleeting static shock. And if he levels up, he gets a true shot with arts, and he gets... At the game start, he gets three spell mana. Bro, I have a stronger ability, and I'm a player. <laughs> um... Well, that's not too bad. What can I say? I'm an adaptable guy. Deep breath now. Dodge this. Upgrade. Nice. He spent a spell mana on that. Nice. I can oh live with that. A foray into the field? How exciting! Wait, how did he? I don't know how he dealt damage to that like that. How did he get to kill me? Oh, he used a created card. Now I understood. I was pretty smart by the Israel. Interesting. Well, I can pay this for free. This is just going to convert my mana into spell mana. No, oh, good thing I was able to kill that thing, by the way. That would have been bad. Mm. It's not bragging if you could back it up. Well, there's a spike five now. It's an issue. Maybe he wants to block. Nope. He's scared. Now I get the attack. I get, attack. I get a remembrance, maybe. Confine and contain. Always seeking new horizons. We should swap stories sometime. My shield is yours. Do that as well. And all of them spirit. Get that spell mana back for free. Oh wow, that's a pretty good draw. I might lose my HP and die like that. Nothing escapes my notice. I won't go back. Nice, they didn't even to use that to give this a very nice ability. I'm lucky with that. Now I definitely want to play the Lux. Nice, he's stunned. Okay, I'm playing the Karma and the Lux. Okay, it's game over. The Ezreal getting stunned is so nice for me. Where there is life, there is hope. Oh, they just want to attack straight up. Ah, that overwhelms annoying. You'll go no farther. I'll do this. Wait, they're locks with this. What the fuck? <laughs> That's disgusting. Oh, I mean, uh, hey. Sorry. Do I'm I beyond know? disgusting, really. We must make our own. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll play this on the locks, I think. That's not too weak. That Ezreal is going to be stunned again. Not like it really matters because I've won the game right now. Yeah. I'll pick the Lux. That should give me um, the final sparks. Oh yes, it gives me, uh, now I've got two golden images as well. Man, what the fuck. Cool. I can play it. Wait, I can also chrono break. Does chrono break bring back the ephemeral? Yeah, it dies. So, like, attack, 
Yeah, it's game over. I'm going to wipe everything out. Hold up. How many times do these final sparks get casted? Four times. Four times. I cast the final spark four times when I play it. One. Two. Three. Four. Yeah, not too bad. Then I'll eliminate Ezreal too, just to make him sure he understands. Four. Yeah, no way indeed. And then uh, I'll attack with Let's this. And I'll attack day. with this. Yes, yeah, solo. Then I chrono break. Yeah, I got those as well. And now I get a uh, turn where I attack how many times. <laughs> yeah. I feel like that's pretty strong. Alright. How much combined first do I have? 32 and then I can triple golden eats as well. Yeah. I would argue this is busted. If you if you want to clear any places, just pick Lux and pick that pick that epic relic or rare relic onto her, and she's just going to completely wipe the floor with any enemy you see. That's the Israel quest completely wiped out. I don't know. I've never been able to beat it before. Technically, I had a C grade, but I would argue that was an A plus. Ooh. All your spells and skills deal one extra damage. Imagine equipping that on the Lux, by the way. Not too bad. Mm. Wild fragments. And something else. What is this? I unlocked Illawi. I don't really like Illawi. But I mean, I'm, I'm going to try out her deck, why not? Not the worst, I guess. And a rare relic. Mm, garden, it's whatever. Oh, I've got two more. Shop upgrade. Shops now sell powers and a discounted card. Alright, I can get a power from the shops as well. And then a prismatic item. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That's probably a pretty strong card. And that's all that I have there. Oh, I don't have more champion stories for Lux. Hmm, did I get something new with this? Support champions have a random rare item now, nice. How close am I? Oh, I'm missing 30 fragments. If you want to play Lux, Chemtech Duplicator is the definite choice for that. Because you play the Lux on turn 5 and maybe the... Um, was it the Masia? Or... Wait, I'm forgetting the... You play the Lux and then the Remembrance. Or... Succession. Or... Wait, Lux doesn't... Yeah, there's the... One card certain. Demacia, for Demacia. If you play Lux and after that one of these you immediately win the game because they get a double proc and that is just completely insane. Even if you just play the Lux and then you play like a succession you get double succession. Which is also already really good. And that also gives you a fucking um, final spark in your hand automatically. So yeah, this item must have on Lux. Thank you for watching everyone and see you next time. Like and subscribe. Bye bye.